here's my headset and at this part it's gonna ask me for a five digit code i can only see that five digit code if i have my headset on me or else i will not be able to do that so right now you got disconnected it's fine i'm gonna put try again it's just because i'm doing this video and taking longer than usual but you should be wearing your headset at this point so you can type that in here so let me just put on my headset and I'm going to see that code. Now for some of you, and actually most of you, it's going to download some software updates. So you see those lights are turned on and you see the fact that it might not be able to connect. It's because it's doing that. It's downloading those updates. Once that's done, we can continue on. So it's okay if you don't see those codes right away and it's just not hooking up, just let it download. And you can only see that if you're wearing your headset, by the way, you're going to notice that all the way on the top, just look up a little bit. You're gonna see that it's downloading updates. Now, since your MetaQuest is doing an update, it's recommended to charge it up, even if the battery is okay. It's a brand new headset, so that's why we have to plug it in, especially when running any updates. So make sure to plug it in, some electricity, so that way you can just charge it up. And once it's done with the update, it's gonna play a sound anyways. So you don't need to wear your headset at this point since it's running that update. We're just gonna plug it in and then it's gonna charge up. So now my headset is hooked up some electricity. So how do I know my headset's charging? Well, usually you should see a light here unless your headset is restarting right now because the update, it's okay if you don't see a light right away, but you should technically should see a light right here. That would mean that it's, it's charging. Everything's working like it should. So there's a lot of updates happening at this point, which is a good thing. And you might notice that you got something here, a screen saying that it's updating your controllers now. That's okay. You want everything to be updated so everything works properly. Just don't touch anything for the meanwhile. Some of you might have seen the code in your MetaQuest. Others would have seen it maybe for a second. It would have gone away and then you would have seen the screen. It's fine because that means it's just paired and you didn't have to put in those numbers. So on your app itself, just going to continue on and then you're all set. Just click on done. There we go. So your MetaQuest app should have opened up because that's where the whole setup takes place. And you would have seen this, your MetaQuest 3. It's all good. Um, it will say all apps updated or something like that. It'll tell you some stuff here, depending. But at this point, you're pretty much done with the setup. Everything else will take from here. So just put on your headset. Keep looking around, see what else you guys want to tweak with the settings as well. Now, if you put on your headset and right now, after doing all these updates, it's telling you a code and you can't get past that right there. Although you see that everything got hooked up and everything looks good. Well, we can finish the setup. So what I want to do is just go here. So what I did was just tap on my MetaQuest 3 from there down here below, tap on it. That way you get to this screen. On this screen to pair it up, what you have to go into headset settings you want to finish the setup. So right now, something should load up so I can go ahead and copy everything from here. So just acknowledge everything. Go through all the screens that we kind of already went through so you can share your data and all that stuff. Then it should say something like so. So you guys can go ahead and press done. And then from here, put on your headset again. And finally, at this point, you guys are actually all done. So you can go back, back and everything else will be taken care of right here on your MetaQuest. So just put on your MetaQuest and finish off making the boundary that you need to make. That's gonna be the first thing that it asks you and continue on with uh, just the normal stuff that you, you have to do. You guys will notice and it's gonna guide you throughout the whole thing as long as you put on your MetaQuest right now. So if you had a MetaQuest 2 before, another MetaQuest, it's gonna ask you right away if you wanna re-download everything so all the games that you purchased and everything, that's all online. So it's gonna ask you if you want to re-download them or not, or you can just re-download the one or two or however many you want into right here, your new MetaQuest. And that's how that transfer works. You just have to set this up. You're logged into your account, so everything's in your account already. So it's all about just logging in and it's gonna ask you to go ahead and just download whatever you want, whatever you want. It's all in your account. You don't have to repay for any apps, nothing, because you already bought those apps, they're yours, they're in your account. This might be a MetaQuest 3, doesn't matter. Those apps that you guys downloaded on your other MetaQuest can't transfer over just by downloading them again. It's that easy, that simple. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.